Hi, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is a follow-up uh, WordPress video on, uh, this one's going to be about Google Analytics. So, and here's what I mean. If you recall, when we talked about plugins, we went into plugins and we loaded up Ultimate Google Analytics. Now, if you go to your settings, you come down here, here's Ultimate Google Analytics. You're going to notice that to get it set and running, we need an account ID. We need a number in here. How do we get that? Well, you need to have a Google Analytics account. So how do you get a Google Analytics account? Well, if you have a Gmail account or any Google uh, account for that matter, you can go right in. If you don't, you can come right here to googleanalytics.google.com uh, forward slash analytics. And you'll want to sign up. So you'll click the sign up button. It'll ask you to log in with your Google account. If you don't have one, you'll have to create one. You can go just create a Gmail account and you'll sign in. It'll come here and I already have a Google account, but you may not. So you'll go create a new account. Now, when you create a new account, you want to sign up. It'll come in here and ask you for a URL name. And we're going to set up uh, WP Trainer uh, site.info. That's the name of our site. The account name uh, we'll simply call WP Trainer site. Well, let's call it WP Trainer. And we'll give it a time, Eastern, continue. You want to put in your name. Select a territory. You want to read the terms and conditions. Create new account. You now have a new account. Now, it's giving you some information here. This is your script. You can take this script and put it aside, put it in a notepad, and uh, use that as, as, a, as a setup for Google Analytics. Or, save and finish, you can take an account number. And in this case, we've just created it. It's, as you can see right here, WP Trainer, and this UA number is your account number. You will copy that, take it back to Analytics, come in here, put it in, come down here, simple configuration, update your options, and bingo. You are now set up with Google Analytics on your website. Now what it does is it's going to place that script that we saw dynamically on every page at the header of any piece of content you create. And it's going to uh, be able then to track any activity on this site through Google Analytics. Uh, the Analytics site is going to take a little while to connect. So you don't really get uh, to view anything right away because uh, it takes a little time for it to find the site and then set up and start getting data whenever you get data. Now, we have a brand new site, so there isn't much data. But eventually, we'll buy it. And then in 24 hours, I'll start seeing some numbers appear here. So that's how you set up Google Analytics in a WordPress website. Just to review, you come down into your back office for your Google Analytics plugin. It's going to ask for an account ID. You get your account ID by going to your Google Analytics site that you've set up and you can collect it right here. You saw also that you, you can collect code if you want by clicking the edit button and it'll come down and show you your code. Check status. 
And here is a script code that you can collect. But the easier way to do it is to go back to your account and collect this number here because in the particular plugin that I used, that's all you needed. And you put it right there. So that's it. That's how you set up Google Analytics. I hope this has been helpful. This is Claude Polano at Affiliate Starting Line. Stay well, stay with it, and talk to you soon.